all right so welcome back to all of you or to me i think you were here but i am coming back so the next topic is unit 24 selection and use of course material all right let me share the screen with you Unit 24, selection and use of course material. Now, in the previous unit, we talk about reference material, which are various in different ways. Now, for the course material, which is we teach usually, let's see how we do the selection for that. How do we select and use course book material? Course book materials are all the materials in a course book package that we use in the classroom to present and practice language and to develop learners with language skills. So usually it is given to you people in the school or in the institute that this is a, which you have to teach. All right. And course book package usually includes a student book, teacher book and audio and video recordings. That is the usual way, which is, but I, in the schools, it's not like that. In the Institute, Language Institute, you, you, you will get it in that way. The teacher books often includes the tape script, audio script, and transcript. For example, the written version of exactly what the learners heard, hear and these recordings. Often there is also a work a workbook or activity book, a book with the extra practice material, and there may also be CD ROM material for use within the interactive whiteboard or extra material on a website. So, usually, uh, some of the books, uh, they transcript it is available if it is with the answers. Some of the book, it is only given into uh, the teacher's guide, so you will find there the audio script also the transcript which is written there the whole dialogue of the listening which is done there uh, along with that workbook or activity books are also there where they practice of the activities which is in the main course book okay teachers often base their selection of uh, teaching material on needs analysis what is need analysis? For example, study of learner's level, language needs and interests using questionnaires, interviews, or diagnostic tests. Now, whenever, for in the school, even if you get a class in the school, so you need to know what's their level of the language, what they need to improve in the language. And definitely, if it is, uh, a private class or in an institute. So there you get the candidates from a uh, different um, uh, area of the life, like some might be working, some might be uh, housewives, some might be some professionals, some might be school leaver students, okay? So you will have a group of different kind of uh, student in the class. There you need to see the needs analysis how you can do that you can give some questionnaires to them there might be a placement test also or diagnostic test also okay uh, then you understand better that what type of students you have in your class and according to that after the need analysis you will be able to select the material what to be taught and what's the supplementary material needed for that? What's the extra activity and the tasks you need for that, okay? So this information help us to help us to build up a class profile. So when we get this information through the questionnaires or interviews 
or the test, it helped us to build the class profile. What is class profile? A class profile was there in the lesson planning, a description of all the learners in the class and shows what the learners have in common and how they differ from each other. Where you need to know how much they know all of them, how much they know one part of the course which we are going to teach that they have the knowledge, others they don't have. So this variation will be there. And that's you have to mention in the class profile, you need to know about it. Right. And show that what learners have covered in that is fine. The teacher task is then to select the material, the best matches this profile. Then the teacher role responsibility is to select what would be the suitable material for that particular class which has different levels of the language. We may not be able to choose our course book because it is given to you. So you can't change that. If you are teaching an initiative or in a school, so you are given a course book, you have to teach that book. But we can still make choices about what material in it to use. Decision about whether and how to use the course book or parts of it will depend on the answer to a number of questions. Now, we, we cannot do anything to change the course book. For example, you are in a school and you say, no, this course book is not suitable for these students. We can't, we, we can't do like that. So we have to teach that. But we can't change the course book, but then we got some choices. What need to be taught out of it and what else you can replace with the supplementary material. What activities you can give in a different other ways to them by the resources which you have with you, right? So now how to decide this, whether uh, this course book material need to be changed, it's suitable or parts of it is done or need to, there are different questions we need to ask from ourselves about that material, okay? And let's see, the first one is, is the, is the material visually attractive? Is it visually clear? For example, using different colors, different uh, uh, fonts, headings, etc. Does the visual material help learners to understand context and meaning? So you have to see what's the visual appearance of it. If it is for the young learners, so definitely the colors and the pictures used over there, the appearance appeals like a lot to them. So uh, those things you need to check. Another thing like visually, how is the appearance of the material? Is the material well organized? Can you and your learner follow the logic of the material and find your way quickly, easily around the page or the unit? Some books, they are compiled such in a way that it's the, not so easy to find the information. Some books are in a very easy way, stepwise, guiding you to the topics. That is the thing which you need to check whether your course book is guiding you easily through the topic and making you understand, or you find the information confusing logically not connected with each other. Next one is, is it culturally appropriate? Will the context be familiar to learners? Culturally, like, you know, when you are teaching language or it might be printed in different other countries. So usually the books which are, there are certain books for the international community, like anyone around the world, they can use it. Some of the books are particular areas. Like if you see, there are some books for the South Asia printed. There are some books for the Europe. Why? Because culture-wise differences are there. Something in their culture, which is normal for us, it will be odd. So something which is normal for here, for us, that might be odd there. 
So that sort of thing is there in the books or not? So if that isn't, like the, it is suitable, so the topic you have to see and uh, the pictures you have to see, like for example, if it is for the European country, so there might be the beaches where the people are like having sandbar. When they're sunbar they're having, they, their dress is uh, kind of not acceptable in our society over here in the South Asia. So that kind of thing is there. So definitely you can't recommend that book with that kind of pictures in it for our students over here. So culturally, I just gave you one example of it. You, you can see uh, whether there are some topics also, which is like, you know, uh, there might be like regarding the boyfriend and girlfriend thing, they talk normally, but we don't talk that uh, in that way in the schools and all that to talk about the boys and girls relationship with each other and all that. But there are a lot of books on English language where we have seen these sort of things like they have given a dialogue practice uh, from the girl side and the boy side, language practice is going on. And it's kind of like they are taking, okay, whether she is interested in you or not. So find out that with the dialogue. So then there are different questions that are. That kind of thing is kind of a bit odd, although uh, our society, it is done, but it is not done in that way. Like not so straightforward it is done, right? So that thing we have to see whether culturally those books are suitable for us or not. Next one is, uh, is it suitable for your learner's age and their needs and interests or not? That's when you have the class profile, you can understand by that. Will the topics be motivating to suit the age, gender, experience, and personal interest of your learners? Now, you know the learners. This is the age, this is their level. But now compare that with the topics in the course material, whether it is matching or not. Next, is the material at the right level? Does it provide clear enough context or explanation for learners to understand new language. So the right level mean if they might be uh, basic learners and they have given the intermediate level or book or inter upper intermediate level. So you have to see is the language book, but at is it a proper level for them or not? Next is, uh, does it give learners enough opportunities to use the language? <clears throat> Like enough opportunities mean whether it provides certain situations for them where they can practice the language. So they, does, does it give much uh, practice for the student or not? These things you have to see in all these. Next, if the answer to any of these questions is no, any of these questions, if the answer is no, then we have two choices. Number one, to replace the course material with material with the same focus aim from another book or resource, such as teachers, website, supplementary material. Now, the first is to replace the book. Now, it is possible if you are supposed to select the material for a course of study and you are doing the selection. So there you can see that whether this, uh, these are by asking these questions, so that's suitable or not. If no is the answer for that, then two choices. Number one, to replace that, okay? But second one is to adopt the course book material. Now, if you cannot replace the book, then what are you supposed to do? Change it in some way to make it suitable for the learners. Then do some changes that it should be suitable for them. How the changes would be possible? Instead of teaching that particular topics over there, you can replace that with the supplementary material from the website or from the uh, your own stock, which I told you, some reference material, you can take it and you can supplement there with the main course. 
Number one choice, replace it. Can't replace it, adopt it. Adopted mean uh, change some of the areas to make it suitable for the learners. Is this two point clear to you? Only Yashoda is clear. Madhuvashan is also clear. Imasha is also clear. Fine. Now we will go. There are a number of ways to adopt the material that's not suitable for particular teaching situation. Now, the second option which we talk, uh, where, where we have to adopt the material to make it suitable for the learners, they, are, they say they, they have given you different ways. Extending the material. Now, this is a strategy extending material. What is, what's the problem here? The task or exercise is too short. The learners need more practice. So in, the, in that case, possible solution is write extra items following the same pattern, right? Shortening material. Next, the task or exercise too long, the learners doesn't need too much practice. So use as much as you need, but do not feel do not feel you have the use to all. Give different parts of the text tasks of different. So if it is too lengthy, not necessarily you need to teach the whole or they need to learn the whole. So you can shorten it by taking out some of the activities and tasks which are not necessary to be done. Right. Changing the methodology. The task doesn't suit the learner's learning style. You want a change of pace. The course book often repeats the same kind of task. If these kind of problems are there uh, in the material, then change the interaction pattern. For example, use a matching task as a mingling activity. In this case, learners move around the task and find their partner. So uh, if this kind of point my problem is there, you can you can change the task in a different way by doing the same task. So the method of doing change, change the methodology of it. All right. Like if they have asked you, is this point clear to you? Change the methodology. Okay, sir. All right. No confusion, Malaysia. Okay, next one is change the level of the material. The text or the tasks are too easy or too difficult. So what you do, make material more challenging or make material less challenging. So it's easy for you to do that. If it is easy, give a challenging kind of task out of it. And if it is difficult, give an easier task out reordering material the activities in the units and the books always follow the same sequence uh, like okay language practice this activity one sequence is there the learners need to learn or practice things in the different orders now change the order of the material ask learner to cover up a page or part of page so that they focus on what you want them to do first so there are certain things like if you remember when I was te started this teaching, so I didn't do the grammar first. I started with the lexis, then I did the function, then I came to the grammar. So why? Because the lexis is a bit easy. So the people who start the language and suddenly they can uh, start the difficult uh, topic, then they may not feel so good about the uh, the, the, the material. So that's why I change it. And the same topic is covered. So that's what you can do with your course book also. You can decide uh, what to select for them to do. The ordering you can change. You can teach one thing before, uh, which is uh, in the, on the later stage, and you can bring it ahead. That is the changing order making use of all the resources in the book. 
This is not enough practice material in the particular unit. The learners need to revise particular items. You want to preview material in future units. So uh, what you can do for that, use extra material from the book grammar summaries and list, list of irregular verbs, give whole book tasks, searching through the book. When uh, the practice material is not enough, so you have to rely on the supplementary material. You have to rely on the find out the uh, extra tasks given in the teacher guide or download some kind of task on that particular topic and give them extra practice in it. So let's see on the next page. Right now. Key concepts and language teaching in the classroom. There, are, there may be good reason for leaving out part of a unit or even a whole unit. Sometime in one unit, you can leave out a part which is not necessarily to be taught. Uh, maybe it's above the level or it's not suitable or it's a kind of um, just taking time. The, the main subject, they, the topic they have already understood. So you can leave out a part of it, or sometimes even the whole unit you have to leave out, which is not necessarily to be done. But the course book is one of the main source of learning. Now, usually the course book is the one which is mainly relied on for our learners. So they may find it confusing if we do this too often. Now, if the leaving out the areas, leaving out some units, if we do that very often, so the students, they are relying on the course book, they will be confused about the standard of the course book. So we should not be uh, leaving out the, the topics and the areas why? Because the main reliability is on the book. So when you feel this something is not suitable, you can replace it. You can give some different exercise. You can change the order. But leaving out, skipping one and going to the next one, very often uh, for the different topics, it's not recommended. The course book will normally provide the main content for a lesson, while material that needs to be more personalized for the learners will probably come from the teacher or from the learners themselves. For example, course book provides situation context. Teacher can provide warmers that how to do an activity based on that. Pictures, so the teachers can provide explanation in the instruction form. Dialogues, conversation between two people in text. Teachers can arrange the role play based on that. Tasks and exercises are there. Teaching can do the homework tasks. So the mean to say personalized mean when you adjust it according to your needs. So the topic can be taught in so many ways. That's what I told you when you have your own understanding of the language, what you're supposed to teach. Always not relying for what you got. See what are the other kind of options available for teaching the same topic in different ways. And then you adjust it with the, your class profile that what type of learners you got there. And deviation from the course book from the unit, part of the unit, always is not okay. Sometimes it's okay if there are some uh, things which you feel it's not to be taught, you know, that I also do in a lot of uh, teaching activity when I do, I quit a lot of things, you know. So I stick to the one which need to be taught and need to be taken more time. So I spend more time on the one which is needed for them. So certain activities are just like, you know, they put a fun activities uh, just to relax the student. So sometimes that's not needed. Right. So next one is if 
If we plan to reorder the material in the course book, we must make sure that this is possible. For example, that a task exercise does not depend on a previous one. Now, if you want to replace, you know, no, sorry, reorder, not replace. Reorder means if you are putting the number three on number two position, number two, you want to take to number three, or you want to take uh, second position, you want to give to number the topic, which is on number five. All right. So you have to see whether the second topic, which is you are replacing with number five, the number one topic, is it kind of continuation in the second or not? If it is an independent topic, it has no connection with the first one, then you can change the order. But if it has a connection with the, uh, the topic previously and the rest of the thing they have to understand in the second, in that case, a wide reordering of this. Is that clear? Malaysia? Okay, fine. Next one is, uh, we can change the order of the activities in the course book in order to introduce variety in one of the following areas. Pace should be fast or slow. Interaction pattern should be individually done, the whole class, in the groups, or making teams, or in pairs. Sequence of skills practice, whether reading, writing, listening, speaking, how need to be done. Reading is needed first, writing or spoken practice is needed in that. Level of difficulty should be at advanced level, to be the difficulty level, intermediate level, or basic level. Content, what are the things are there? The content which is you are going to teach. Mood and how it has to be. It has to be taught in a funny way. It needs to be taught in a serious way. It needs to be taught in a uh, interactive way, which way need to be taught, okay? So that we can do order of activities, like activities need to be done in which way. We should think about how to make material more attractive and interesting for learners and how to bring material to life. For example, using mimes, pictures, relia. What is relia? real objects such as claws and food etc so when we want to give them the real touch especially it is needed in the young learners one so you see uh, you bring different things to the class and show them it's the apple is like this the bowl is like this all right you plants you show to them why because relia is needed for the small children they have known they don't have much experience of the practical life so they need to be given really an example okay so this is what it is all about is that clear was a short topic but i hope you have understood any question regarding it no question all right very much thumbs are coming up a lot of thumbs okay so I will stop the recording and then I'm going to do the worksheet, which I have, we have not done after unit 22, I think. Yes.